Um, so I use a nine inch um, roller specifically designed for rough surfaces. So yeah, you just need one of these and a liner and then this traffic striping paint. You have to get it from behind a cage, but you don't have to sign or anything. Um, well, I installed it as a Christmas present to the neighborhood of myself the night before Christmas. And um, it was just a really messy intersection and there are a lot of people that cross it, but there's no safety devices or crosswalks or anything. It was six lanes of traffic and it was going both ways and it was people just coming over the bridge or coming down a hill so it was a high speed area so this was like twenty dollars these were like three dollars these were like three dollars and then um this was an all recycled plastic for like three dollars too and the paint runs out a lot faster than you would think it would on the street so it's always good to keep this close by you. Um, so make sure that the line is straight. Just make sure that the paint is like all the way around the roller. So it just seemed like it was necessary. Like I thought that it would be very useful there. I just googled, you know, uh, installing crosswalks and there was a video on YouTube actually of a, um, a guy was him, him filmed the whole thing like installing the crosswalk and uh, it just looked really amazing and after he was done there was this nice crosswalk, you know, for at least a couple weeks. Yeah, I figured if he could do it, I could do it. I don't want to be on, I don't want to be dependent on anyone, so I figured that if I just did it, that it would just be done. Yeah, I didn't really see it as like a permanent solution, but maybe just like a little bit of a, you know, an interim, you know, safety measure. Um, I think it lasted about probably like a month and you know just slowly faded yeah that was pretty amazing to see it was like the cars actually stopping and like letting pedestrians go and just because i think that a lot of time pedestrians and bicycles aren't really aware of how many rights they actually have especially with just crosswalks like that and uh so it's re it was really good to see people feeling comfortable enough to 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 assert their rights and um and walk into the to the street and have the cars wait for them instead of the other way around. And I think that if enough people just started, you know, because the law is once your foot hits the asphalt, you know, you have the right way and cars are supposed to stop. So I think that the more people that did that, the more cars would be aware of pedestrians and um, even bicycles have the right of way if they're going on a sidewalk and they're in a, in a crosswalk. Bicycles have the right of way and cars are supposed to stop, but. I've yet to see that one <laughs> come to fruition, but those are our rights, so we should definitely assert them. Sometimes people get caught up in, um, in thinking that, you know, yielding and seeing bicycles and pedestrians is a courtesy issue, when in reality, every day when we step onto the sidewalk or put our hands on our handlebars, it's life or death for us out there. And death in gruesome ways, you know, it's not just about being polite. Um, well, I was surprised when Bike Portland picked up the story and um, it was really interesting to see all the comments, just how many people were completely in favor of it and you know, I thought it was a great thing for, for people to start doing and um, there was even a few people saying, oh, can you come in my neighborhood and do this intersection or this intersection? And I think it probably got a lot of people thinking like, maybe I can do that too. Um, I didn't really expect any sort of reaction. Um, you know, maybe like my neighbors to, to react to it or, um, or maybe cars to see it as inconvenience or something, but I definitely never expected a, a story to be written about it. Just come back in the morning and see how people react. Yeah, like I woke up Christmas morning and I got out of bed and ran down to the crosswalk. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> totally. God bless everyone! So it's gone now, but we have the pictures on Bike Portland, so...